One of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 20 is the AI voice convert feature. It might sound like a gimmick, but there are some real uses for this feature other than as a fun effect like this. I'll get to those in a second, but first, let me show you how it works. So here's that intro that you just saw. Let's go and replace this middle section with a different voice. Select the clip, right click and choose voice convert. For the track, choose where you want the new audio to be positioned. If you choose render in place, it's going to replace the audio on the same track that the source audio is from. If you have a specific track where you want it to go, you can choose that, or you can get DaVinci Resolve to add a new track. I'm going to do that. You can specify custom file names here. I'm not going to do that for the minute. And then you choose the voice that you want to create. By default, we get two female voices and two male voices. These are all United States voices. So let's go and replace my voice with male one US. This type matching to source tick box is checked by default. With this box ticked, the AI voice that's generated will really try and very tightly follow my voice, my intonation, my pitch and volume. If you want a looser version, you can untick this and play with different pitch variances. I'm gonna leave this checked for now. And if you want to change the pitch of the generated voice, you can change it to be a high pitched or lower pitched voice. I'm gonna leave that as the default for zero. Because we've chosen a new track here, when I click render, it's going to generate the AI voice and it's automatically disabled the audio portion of this track. And this clip is the new AI generated voice. Let's have a listen. AI voice convert feature. It might sound like a gimmick, but there are some real uses for this feature other than as a fun effect like this. Let me show you what that pitch does now. I'm going to manually disable this by hitting D, re-enable that, choose voice convert again, and we'll max this out at plus 12, click render. It's going to add a new track and give us this new version at a higher pitch. It might sound like a gimmick, but there are some real uses for this. Which is clearly too much but we could go somewhere a little less crazy, maybe plus four. So this is what plus four sounds like. It might sound like a gimmick, but there are some real uses for this feature. So what are some of the potential uses for this new feature? You could go and record a voice over using your own voice, but then later think oh, maybe that doesn't sound great. If you're not a voice actor, it might not sound as good as it could. You could replace your voice with a great voiceover from an AI generated voice. One that sounds more dramatic, maybe deeper and more cinematic. You could use this to change the gender of your voice. Maybe you've done a voiceover for something, but then when you're playing it back, you kind of realize what maybe a female voice Voice might fit the subject matter a bit better. Another use is if you've recorded yourself in a noisy environment and while DaVinci Resolve has some great noise reduction tools, you might decide it's just not good enough. So what you could actually do is replace your own voice in that noisy environment with an AI version of your own voice to get rid of the noise. If you're making fun kind of comedy skits where you're playing multiple different characters, you could give each of those characters a different sounding voice or potentially in post-production for a big feature film if you need to record a bit of extra dialogue or maybe one of the audio takes was bad but the actor is no longer available or maybe working on another film in another country you could potentially of course with their permission you could generate an AI model from their voice just to fill in the gaps where that audio needs to be replaced or added to. Obviously, you should never copy someone else's voice without their permission. So at the minute, you get four AI voices out of the box, but you can actually train your own custom AI voices right inside DaVinci Resolve. To do that, you need some source recordings of that person. And there's a few subtle requirements how you record that sample voice data. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a future video. So if you want to, please subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm Jason Roberts, this is DaVinci Dojo, and I'll see you in the next one.